James chapter 3 and verse 16 says, For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. So envy, self-seeking, confusion, these are typical tools used by the devil to create confusion and make sure that every evil thing gets an entry into our lives. Um, and these are tools, these are methods that are used by the devil. To envy someone is to desire someone's possession or ability or talent. The Greek word use, used here also denotes a, a fierce desire to promote one's own agenda, one's own thoughts, one's own ideas and convictions um, to the exclusion of everyone else's. So it has this picture about someone who is so obsessed with his or her own cause and someone on the threshold of becoming even militant. So uh, that's the picture that we have about envy. And what about self-seeking? You know, um, and, and the, uh, the idea there uh, is about a party spirit or a political spirit where, uh, uh, where the idea is to create a platform, uh, create an agenda, and, uh, and, and just go behind that agenda, make sure that that agenda is what everybody else uh, uh, has, to, um, has to follow. Uh, and so that the political party gets or reaps the benefit. Right? So where there is envy and where there is self-seeking, the Word of God says that uh, uh, confusion and every other thing are there. So confusion referring to disorder, anarchy, rebellion. So just imagine, you know, in, in a relationship, in a, maybe in our human uh, relationships, maybe in family, maybe work relationships. Um, if we allow envy and if we allow self-seeking to be there, you know, that is the sure short method to bring in anarchy, rebellion, disorder, uh, which is confusion and, uh, and also every other evil thing. We open the door wide enough for the enemy to bring in all these kinds of things so that whatever project that we might want to accomplish, you know, it gets neutralized. Relationships get neutralized. Um, and whatever work of God that we want to pursue, you know, it gets uh, neutralized. And that is, that is actually the, the desire of the enemy. He does not want us to, to fulfill the purpose of God. He does not want us to fulfill the plan that God has for our life. And maybe at the workplace, we want to do something. And as a team, uh, this creates disunity. This brings division. So therefore, uh, we, need to, we need to discern. We need to be careful. Uh, we need to ask God to give us the ability to recognize, first and foremost, where there is envy where there is self-seeking, to recognize it and not just recognize and stay quiet about it, but also to act decisively. So the, the thing that we can do to act decisively, you know, when, when these uh, opportunities for envy and strife or envy and self-seeking arise, we can beat it. And we can beat it by choosing to make room for ideas, to give others the opportunity to, to air their opinions, and even though they might be very different from ours. And we maintain an attitude of goodwill, peace, gentleness, and uh, willing to yield. And by doing this, we can keep our relationships healthy and totally um, detox the environment of confusion and every evil thing. So let's pray and let's ask God for discernment, uh, for the ability to recognize and also for the ability to act decisively. Father, we thank you that you're the God of peace and you're not the God of confusion and disorder. And Lord, we thank you for this, uh, for the truth in this verse where envy and self-seeking come in, there's confusion and every evil thing. And so God, we thank you for warning us about this and we ask that you would give us the discernment and the ability to recognize it first and foremost and not just recognize, Lord, but also to act decisively and come against it, Lord. We pray that you'll give us the inner strength to do that. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.